Hello, hello, hello everyone. Emily Joan Smith here. How are we doing today? So I'm here to talk to you today because we have a problem. We have a big problem. So here in England, things are getting a lot more isolated. We can't leave the house unless it's for like once like exercising once or going in your back garden kind of thing. Um, so I have the slight dilemma of eating too much when I'm in my house. Um, bored, I eat. Stressed out, I eat. Don't know what to do with myself, I eat. Sad, I eat. Happy, I eat. Miserable, I eat. Sitting on the sofa, I eat. Watching telly, I eat. I'm eating so much, oh my word. So, I thought I'd do a video today about how to stop those munchies. Um, those midday munchies, those midnight munchies, those um, mid anything munchies, those whole day munchies. I want to stop them for you and me. So I have a couple of things um, to help you. First of all, plan out your week. Um, so things are getting a lot harder, obviously, because it's you, you don't really want to be going to the shops because obviously you want to be staying home, stop, um, stop the virus from spreading, save lives and everything like that. So we shouldn't really be going to the shops anyway. We should be trying to order um, our food or go as little as possible. So first of all, number one, make sure you are um, planning your food. When you plan your food, you are less likely to eat lots of food um, when you're bored. Um, number two, uh, what you have to figure out within this quarantine, within this self-isolation, within this time to yourself, is you need to figure out when you eat. Because we eat when it's related to an emotion. When we were younger, we ate, we cried because we were hungry. As we get older, we learn to eat because of a different emotion. And it's not normally hunger. Um, it's normally like when we're bored, we eat. It triggers a habit to make us eat. When we're sad, it triggers a habit to make us eat. When we're angry, it triggers a habit to make us eat. So you really need to figure out early on in this quarantine, if you are an eater, an emotional eater, um, try and figure out what emotion makes you want to eat. And it may be more than one. I eat when I'm bored. I definitely eat when I'm stressed out. And I eat when I'm sad. I'm an emotional eater. If I'm sad, I will eat. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what emotions will are going to make you eat while you're in this quarantine. And obviously like emotions are more high because I'm sure a lot of people are stressed out. A lot of people are a bit sad that they can't see their family. So they're more likely gonna wanna go to the fridge and grab some food, i.e. me, loving the fridge right now. But you need to figure out what emotion is linked to you wanting to eat. And what you need to do is you th need to think of a new habit to do when you are that kind of emotion. So if you're anxious, maybe instead of going to grab some food, grab a pen and paper and write down why you're anxious and what you can do about it, how you can change your thoughts to more positive thoughts. Maybe if you are a sad eater, Instead of going to the fridge, you need to listen to some music that makes you happy. Maybe you need to go and take your one exercise, going outside and do your one exercise. Maybe you want to, if you are a sad emotional eater, you need to find a different habit so that you do not eat. Because the thing is, I think we're gonna be isolated for a while. And if you start early and if you're emotionally eating and if you're just eating when you're bored, things are gonna get bad, things are, things are gonna get bad around here. And obviously it's fine to eat, like I'm not saying don't eat when you're any of these emotions, but it's when you start packing on the pounds um, and when you start eating, you never feel like good after it. You feel good after a run, you feel good after exercise, but you never feel like amazing after binge eating. So, um, another thing, yeah, so sort out the emotion that you eat after and try and think of a new habit you can do instead. And and on a serious note, if you do have um, a mental health issue, if you do struggle with mental health, be it binge eating, be it um, anorexia, bulimia, um, try and seek out help 
right now because this is going to be a hard time for you um this is going to tr trigger a lot of emotions this is going to trigger a lot of habits try and reach out to the people who know what you're going through trying to talk to someone who is um a therapist or someone who um, has experienced knowledge in the area of what you're dealing with and try and reach out to people because it's going to be a hard time for you um but yes figure out um what you want to eat eat each week have a plan when you have a plan you're more likely to stick to a plan write that plan down you are 100 percent more likely to stick to a plan if you write it down even sign it or something like that sign it like i will stick to this plan little signature um number two f figure out what emotions uh trigger you to eat and go to the fridge is it boredom is it sadness is it being tired is it um happiness is it um anger figure them out and instead of going to get food think of a new habit you can do instead and third if you really are struggling mentally um with a mental health kind of disorder issue whatever you want to call it or should call it um reach out speak to someone so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you have any more ideas i would love to know what your ideas are um to help with eating during this self-isolation time because i need some help i'm eating too much i'll start my healthy eating on monday i'll start them um but yeah uh, i will see you tomorrow with another new video if this has helped you please give it a like give it a share or if you think someone needs to hear this on your timeline share it to your timeline or if you just want to share it share it because you never know on your timeline who this may help you may be helping someone um that you don't even know need needs the help so yeah i'll see you tomorrow with another new video and yeah Look after yourself, wash your hands, stay positive. Bye.